Hi, this is Tita Esther. Thank you for watching this episode of Burg Ruine Finkenstein or Castle Ruins of Finkenstein. As we have a lot of castles and ruins in Carinthia, I thought this will be nice to share with you and give you an idea to put in your bucket list when you have the chance to visit Carinthia in Austria. Hi, this is Tita Esther. Thank you for watching my YouTube channel. I appreciate your likes, comment, and share. I am sharing with you some of the iconic, most visited, and interesting castle and palace here in the province of Carinthia, Austria. Today's episode, I will share with you the Burg Ruin of Finkenstein or the Castle Ruins of Finkenstein. Halika, samahan ninyo ako. Come with me. Castles always fascinated me in my childhood. They bring fairy tales and legends to life. And let us take a look into the past. It calls for eternity, mystical, imposing, and sublime. They tower up on highest or nestle against rocks. No wonder that castles form a certain image and very popular background for photos and used for special occasions like concerts, graduations, weddings, and other important events. I expect that my summary will give interesting inspiration to go on a discovery tour and immerse yourself in the world of knights, damsels, dragons, and of course, ghosts. Since many years, Burg Arena Finkensteins is used as perfect ambience by famous local and international singers like Placido Domingo, Georg Tanza, Reinhard Fendrix, and Austria's Eurovision Song Contest winner Conchita Wurst, just to name a few. At my back, you can see the Lake Fahkeste, where the yearly European Bike Week is held. The Harley Davidson Bike Week is the largest event in the world and attracts every year around 100,000 international motorcycle fans from over 50 countries. This corner of the ruins is my favorite place to sit and watch people pass by to rest and enjoy the amazing view. In this room, I felt like an enchanted damsel waiting for salvation in the burnt-down castle. The owner of the castle is the concert organizer Gerhard Satran. He built 1,150 seats and is used for festival performances beginning of July till September. There is also a restaurant in the Castle Arena which is in operation in the summer months of April and October. Sitting in the middle of the Castle Arena, where so many famous singers performed already, I really felt the energy and the footprints left behind. No matter where you are in the castle ruins, you will always have a nice and amazing view. Here I am embracing the world. The castle ruins offer so many great angles and shots.
show of you like the short tour of the Burg Ruin of Finkenstein. And if you happen to be here in Carinthia, please do so because you will not regret it. It's worth the visit. Time is running so fast, I can't believe it's time to go home. A short rest and imagine how was the life of the people who lived here 900 years ago. A short glance back to the castle with a promise to myself to visit this place again. Driving back home, we pass by the climbing garden and watch the people practicing their climbing skills. Watching these people, the child in me awakes and I have to try and see if I can climb it too. This is Tita Esther. Thank you for watching and I hope you like and got some inspiration to visit Burg Ruine Finkenstein. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Lots of love, Tita Esther.